Hi, I'm Matthew Moskoviak, Senior Associate Editor at CNET.com, and we're going to take a look at the Samsung BD-D6700 Blu-ray player, which is currently selling for about $270. This player has a different look than most Blu-ray players, with a silver top and a matte black bottom. It uses a slot-loading disk drive, so there's no disk tray, and beneath the slot is a display, which also features touch-sensitive buttons. The included remote has a pretty good button layout, including a handy Netflix button, and there are also apps for iOS or Android for controlling the player. On the feature side, there's 3D Blu-ray support, built-in Wi-Fi, and it's packed with streaming media services, including Netflix, Hulu+, Plus, MLB TV, Vudu, Cinema Now, and Pandora. It uses an updated version of the Netflix interface, so you can search and browse titles that aren't in your instant queue. It's one of the most comprehensive collections of streaming services available, especially for video, although we did feel like Samsung's Smart Hub interface was a little cluttered. So if you're looking for something simpler, you may want to look into competing players from LG and Panasonic. Now, $270 is a lot of money for a Blu-ray player. And the big feature you're paying extra for is the dual HDMI outputs. The idea here is if you have an older AV receiver that's not 3D compatible, you can send 3D video right to your TV and use a separate cable with audio to go right to your receiver. However, it's worth pointing out you don't need dual HDMI outputs to use an older AV receiver because you can make a separate connection with an optical audio output and most people won't be able to hear the difference. So we'd suggest that most buyers save the extra money and go with a player that only has one HDMI output, such as the Samsung BD-D6500 or another competing Blu-ray player. When we tested the BD-D6700 disc loading speed, it wound up falling right in the middle of the pack compared to other 2011 players. So if speed is a big factor for you, you'll want to check out mid-range players from Sony and Panasonic. We also put it through a full series of image quality tests, and the BD-D6700 has excellent performance. However, these days, nearly every player has virtually identical image quality, especially for Blu-ray movies, so it shouldn't be a big factor when you're making a buying decision. In all, the Samsung BD-D6700 is a great Blu-ray player with lots of streaming video services, but for most buyers, it just doesn't offer enough upgrades to justify its high price. I'm Matthew Moskoviak from CNET, and this is the Samsung BD-D6700.